the project we are going to build is complete backend e-commerce web api and if you haven't watched our introductory video about this project then link is in the description please check it out so in this section we will prepare our api server and do our part one that is create our first api call i hope you guys are excited now and while programming if you got any error then inside the description i pass one link that is github repository code so you can simply go inside that and check out the coding stuff of this section one part one video so now without wasting any time let us move to our coding part first i want to move inside my this demo folder and here let us create a new folder named backend the name is totally up to you so now let us jump inside our new folder and here i want to write npm init package name that i write is shop because we are creating e-commerce shop then press enter inside this description i want to write backend of the e-shop because we are creating backend part of our e-commerce shop then entry point i want to write app.js instead of this default index.js then again enter and here in this author you can write your name i write here my name and press enter yes so here you can see package.json file is added successfully now let us install our first dependency so i write here npm install nodemon so nodemon is a tool that helps develop node.js based applications by automatically restarting the node application when file changes so our dependency is installed successfully and inside this package.json file you can also see the changes now inside this scripts i want to add this start and here i want to write nodemon app.js because this is our entry point and when we are write npm start then this command will call so now save the file and the time is come to install our second dependency that is express so press enter here so the primary use of this express to provide server side logic inside our web applications so now i want to create a new file inside our backend folder that is app.js first i want to import our package name express and here let us declare our variable name app first i want to write app.listen because i want to open a pod that is 3000 and this is our callback function so inside this console log i want to write server is running on http localhost 3000 and now save the file so here first i want to write command npm start so here you can see server is running on this port so let us open this so here you can see cannot get because we doesn't provide any routes so here i want to provide this get and this is our default route so here we are passing our request and response and i want to write here response.send hello world now save the file you can 
see here this is automatically refresh because we are installing nodemon here you can see hello world because this is our default route and here we write in this response.send hello world now let us create our environment variable so i want to create a new file name.env and here i want to provide api url so this is the prefix of our api so i write here api version 1 and save the file then let us import our .env file so i write here .env config then let us create a variable name api inside that we are providing our api url that will come from this environment file now save the file now let us create our first api call and inside that we are passing json data so here instead of this i want to use backticks and first i want to use our variable that is api and this is for our products so remember what this mean this will be mean like http localhost 3000 then api version 1 then products because here you can see our server is running on this port and here inside this variable we are passing api version 1 and after this we are applying products so this is the call of our first api now instead of only hello world let us create a new variable named product and here i want to provide the id name of our product like I want to write hairdresser and inside this image I want to provide some URLs so here let us write this after this I want to send as response over this variable product so now save the file So here you can see an error. So first we have to install .env then the error will be gone. So now let us jump inside our folder backend. And here I want to install .env. So here you can see our server is running on this port and our error is gone now. So now let me open my postman and here I want to provide our URL and this is our get request. So now click on the send button and here you can see our data because inside this product variable we are writing this id name and image that we get here in this json format now the time is come to use our second request that is post because we want to post something inside our api so here i write app.post inside this backtick first our variable that is api then this is for our products this is our callback function so request and response 
inside this i want to create a new variable name new product and here i pass request dot body and let us write here new product then we are sending this variable now save the file and open postman but now here we are post something so i write this post and now go inside this body and select this json format and i want to write this stuff and now click on this send button open this json but we get nothing so let us go inside our terminal and you can see here undefined so now we want to install body parser so our format will convert on json format so we can actually see the output so for that let us import body parser and here i want to apply the middleware app dot use body parser dot json so we can actually see now let us save the file open our postman send the request so here you can actually see the json data and inside our terminal you can see here because we are writing here console.log and providing new product so you can actually see the result here and this we can see with the help of this body parser but here we can't see that we applying post method or get method put anything so for that i want to install morgan so right here npm install morgan so now let us import require morgan then inside this middleware stuff i want to use morgan and i want to display in tiny format so now let us save the file open our postman send the request again so here you can see i apply post method and this we get from this morgan now let's take a quick pause here and i assume you did this section 1 part 1 exactly like me and if you got any error while programming then check my description i added the link of this source code and if you want to continue with this project then the next part video link and the playlist link of our full e-commerce web api are also in the description so don't forget to check out our next videos and if you like our this part one then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Thank you and bye bye. Keep watching.